Hello and welcome back to another video about trading. In today's video, I want to share with you my own trading setup, what I use for software, uh, hardware, mainly going to be about software. What it isn't going to be is all about how many monitors I've got or how powerful my computer is. It's purely about software. So if you're looking at maybe upgrading what you're using currently, you're looking at software that you want to be able to back test very fast or even go that one step further and actually automate some of your strategies then what I'm going to show you today is a real life example that actually works that's reliable I've been using it for a few years for my setup there's actually five key components and we're going to run through those now the first component to my setup my software is the actual trading platform or the actual trading software itself. Personally, I use one called MultiCharts. MultiCharts is, if you haven't heard of it, it's a platform that not only can you, you can trade through, you can backtest, you can actually automate your trading strategies. So turn them on and have the platform actually trade for you. It's very similar to uh, TradeStation's platform. If you haven't heard of MultiCharts, I'm sure you've heard of TradeStation. It uses a very similar coding language, easy language or power language for MultiCharts. So the second component to running my trading system is the data feed. Now, for, the, for this data feed, there's many different options. They literally sort of plug into multi-charts. There's many options. Uh, for me, what I use is the data feed from Oanda. It's very reliable and it's actually it actually costs nothing, so it's free. So as long as you have as long as you have an account with Oanda, I believe it doesn't even have to be a real account. So it can actually be a demo account, and you can access their data, which is really good. And the third component is my broker. So MultiCharts isn't a broker. It's not, not like TradeStation. TradeStation is a trading platform, but also a broker as well. MultiCharts is standalone. They're not a broker. So MultiCharts will generate orders, or you can trade through MultiCharts, and MultiCharts then sends the signals to the broker of your choice. Again, there's lots of choice that you can use to trade via multi-charts. For me personally, I used to use Oanda. I used to use Oanda for the data feed and to trade through as my broker. But at the end of 2017, they actually stopped allowing that for uh, EU customers for some reason. So I made the switch and now I use interactive brokers. or IB, they're very good. They're actually, I actually get better prices through interactive brokers than I do Oanda. And you can trade a much wider range of instruments. And the fourth component to my setup is a little piece of software that's not essential, uh, but what it does, it's a little program that links between multi-charts and interactive brokers. It's specifically for interactive brokers um, and it's called IB Gateway. I don't need to go into too much detail about this but if you do choose to use a multi-charts and interactive brokers set up then I recommend you use IB Gateway. Um, it just it frees up memory on the machine that you're running the platform on and it just makes the connection that bit more reliable. It's not essential though. And the last one is a VPS. So what's a VPS? A VPS is a virtual private server and I'm using one at the moment, or I've always used one actually, from Amazon. And I'm on the free tier from Amazon. It's a very small server. What it is, it's a cloud-based server. So it's like having your own computer, but 
it's hosted by Amazon. So the benefits of that mean that there's no downtime, there's no, or there's very little risk of power outages and dropped out internet connections, etc. So this is basically a virtual computer. So you don't run the software on your own computer. So once you have your virtual computer, you then load multi charts on that computer, and then you plug in your data feed and your broker, and you access the VPS, so you access this virtual computer via your own computer. I use a program, it's a standard program called Microsoft Remote Desktop. Literally, a couple of clicks at the button and you're faced with the desktop which looks like your own computer. So it's ever so simple. So the last thing I'd like to talk about really is costs because that's obviously a big factor. And I can tell you my current trading setup this one that I've been using for a few years, it currently costs me nothing. I've mentioned that the data feed is free. I am slightly limited on the amount of instruments that I can trade, or the amount of data provided by Alanda, <clears throat> but it's free at the moment. My broker is, is free, or in fact, they do require a minimum account size. I think you have to put a minimum of maybe $10,000 to open an account with interactive brokers. But there's many other broker choices that you can use through multi-charts who, who don't charge. IB Gateway is just a piece of software that's free and I'm actually using the free virtual private server from Amazon. And although it's very small and not very powerful, it works, it's enough to do what I need to do. The main cost is multi-charts. It doesn't cost me anything because a few years ago, when I first started using it, I bought what's called a lifetime license. I've just checked, and at the moment, a lifetime license is $1,497. I actually got it on a deal. They often do deals on things like Black Friday. I think I paid either 1000 or maybe about $1,100 when I bought that. Although they do do it on a, a monthly or a six-monthly or a yearly tariff that could work out better for you. And I do do a free trial, do a 30 day free trial. So that's my setup. This setup allows me to create, backtest, optimize, uh, develop really some nice trading strategies on whatever market I want. And then once they're tested, you know, back testing takes next to no time. Once they're tested, developed, I'm happy with them, I can then trade them automatically, which is what I do. It's pretty much just a case of switching on automatic, automated trading and away they go. I just have to, or I don't even have to, but I look in, log into the, the virtual private server, the VPS, a couple of times a day just to make sure everything's running well and that's all I have to do. If I'm developing new strategies, then I actually have another copy of multi-charts that's loaded on my own laptop and I do all the development on my own computer. I don't um, use the virtual private server, that's purely for trading. Uh, development's done locally, just on my own laptop. So I hope that helps. For those of you who are wondering about maybe upgrading to back testing software or, or going for automated trading, this is just one option. There's many different options, there's many different software, it just happens to be the one that I started with and the one that I've learned and become to really really love so it's not the only option there are cheaper options like MT4 I'm sure you've heard of MT4 uh, I'll probably do a video about the different options later on but for now have you got any questions that you'd like to ask about my own trading platform setting things up maybe you want to know additional features of what can and can't be done with multi charts comment down below and if you like the video please like it and subscribe to the channel and share the video with anyone who you think that they find it useful. And I'll see you on the next video.